folks, I heard the exact same argument four years ago when Mr. Smith and I was sitting aside. I couldn't get anything done. I couldn't work with counselors. It's funny that we got rid of the $6 dollars car tax. It, it's funny that in the historic neighborhoods, saying the taxpayers over $150 million. It, it's, it's truly unbelievable that I got all the counselors to vote for um, privatizing garbage. That's the job. Um, this efficiency savings, the budgets we passed, the lowest tax rate ever. Friends, you want to keep all the counselors happy? I'm sorry, I am not a new Democrat. I'll tell you right now. I am not going to spend money that we don't have. And that's why you want to keep all the counselors happy? Uh, Olivia and John, I know how they'll keep them happy. They'll just give them everything they want. No, I don't believe in that. There are restrictions. I have proven. I have a track record of success, folks. A billion dollars in savings speaks for itself. Thank you very much. All right, this is a question that has come from the community from Michelle on uh, Doorstruck. She asks, youth unemployment doesn't create jobs itself, but needs to provide equipment for that easier for doing so. The environment can be done so through a number of plans that I outlined uh, when I spoke to the Board of Trade. For instance, for those who start businesses, uh, what we will do is we have the business permit fees, and those are at the end of the first year rather than the beginning. We would enable uh, business permits to be done online. I'm very strong on open data to allow people who want to start businesses to start off on their own to actually uh, find out where their businesses can be set up. For those who 